Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm coming back to you with a few more details about how you can get the most productivity and efficiency out of using a OneNote law firm notebook. And I've created a generic template for those of you who would like to have a pre-made template to help you to get started with developing your own OneNote law firm notebook. Now in my prior video, I previewed my OneNote civil law firm notebook template. But today, I'm gonna take you inside of my OneNote criminal law firm notebook template. Now, if you like to get more information about how to make your own OneNote law firm notebook, please review one of my prior videos on this topic. And if you like to purchase my OneNote civil or criminal law firm notebook, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And so now, if you like to review instructions on how to open your template and what you should do immediately after purchasing one of my OneNote templates, please watch my prior video wherein I previewed my civil law firm notebook. But if you navigate to my website, you'll see here right here on the home page you can go over to the product description for this civil law firm notebook by clicking the buy now button and when you get there in the product description you'll see instructions on what to do when you receive the link for your OneNote law firm template and how to make a copy immediately after receiving it so that your template that you purchase will maintain in its original format. And I know many of you may be wondering, well, why do I need this? And I think the top line reason has to be the ability that OneNote gives you to take your entire law firm filing cabinet everywhere you go, allowing you and your office staff to access your files in the cloud, as well as real-time changes that sync immediately through the cloud storage system in OneDrive, making them immediately accessible to everyone on your team. And if you'd like to get more information about OneNote and OneDrive and how they work, please watch my prior video on my OneNote law firm civil notebook template. And so, Let's jump right inside of this template and take a look at my criminal law firm notebook. Now, just as in my civil law firm notebook template, you also have a place here to keep any firm administration files that you may have. Then you can organize your criminal case files however you want, but this template gives you the versatility to do it in one of two ways. So when I click on the firm administration, I'm going to expand and open this up just a little bit so that you can see. You'll see all of the pages and sub pages here for the firm administration case file. And you will see that you can retract any of these. You'll see that you have your accounts payables, your accounts receivable, attorney bar information. Maybe there's some e-filing information that you want to store here in your uh, firm administration section of your notebook. But then you have a place over here where you can also organize your case files by case type. So you could just keep all of your criminal law firm cases all in one section, or you can divide your criminal law by the type of case that it is. And so then you can have your DWI cases here, or you could have your theft cases here, or you could have your homicide cases here. And you can see how I have each of the clients in each one of the case areas listed by the case type. Or again, you could just have one criminal law section. You have the versatility to be able to do that here. And if you don't want all of these others, then you can just delete them. But you'll wanna make sure you go back and watch my video 
on my civil law firm notebook template so that you can get an understanding of what to do and how to make a copy of the notebook template before you make any changes here. And so then you want to work from your copy. Like I'm working from a copy of my notebook here. This is my demo criminal law firm notebook. And so if I now want to delete all of these sections here, I can delete those if my law firm, if I just want to have all of my client files in one general area. And so you can do that one of two ways, these two ways being described here. And so even if you want to add another section here, the way that you add new sections is you go down to the bottom here and you click this plus section sign. If you want to add a new page or a sub page over here, for a, any client files that you want to have or anything else that you want to have in each one of these sections, you divide that information by adding different pages. And you can add new pages down here by clicking this new page plus sign down here at the bottom. But I'm going to look at my DWI cases and you can see I have two client files in here and if I want to look at all of the files within the Jessica Dime file then I can expand it here to see all of my case intake information case notes now in my John Smith case I have the same page sections here because this is how I like to set up my client files you may want to delete some of these but again you want to make sure you're working from your copy when you decide to do that but i am here working in a dwi case that we have here now at any time if you want to add a new client file and you already have all of the sub page sections that you like to have for your particular office setup you can retract it and then you can right click on this and click copy and then you can just right click again and hit the paste button and it will make a new section there for you for a new client and you can simply go up to the top and change the name and any other information in here uh, that you would want to change later on. But I'm going to delete this because I don't want to have two of these. And so it's going to ask me, do you, are, are you sure you want to move these to the, your deleted notes? And I'm going to say yes. Okay, so now what that's telling me is that it's not a hard delete. So if you delete that by mistake, you can go back to your deleted uh, notes and find that and you can just restore it back here to the place where you have it. But now I want to just take a look at this DWI case. And just by way of, of example, here are some of the sub pages for our DWI client file. And we start off with our case intake information here at the very beginning. Again, each one of these are divided by what are called pages, but then you can have sub pages underneath each one of these sections to organize information that you want to have within the general page itself. And so with this being said, you might have a client intake form that clients complete at the time of any initial consultation in your office, but if not, then you can use the sample that we have here uh, for your office. And you can just simply type a client name here on these particular uh, forms and add any other information that you want to add. Uh, if you have an address, And so you can use the form that we have here, or you can replace this form with a form that you may use in your office. In addition, you may have a new matter memo that you want to have in this section, any client conflicts 
you want to add, you might want to have a case summary that you place here just to have handy. And then here down in the case notes, we have our case information data sheet. And so if you don't have one, you can use the one that we have provided here. In addition, you have a place here for your court file documents for documents that have been filed for the court. And within each index that you find in this entire template, you can create links to each document. So when you receive any new documents, you can just file them here in your law firm notebook in OneNote. And you can link to the documents that are here in your particular section, paid section of the notebook for this particular index. This is the court file documents. And so you can have a link here on the words. So if I click that link, it'll take me straight to that document. Or you can have your link on the number of the document. You can place this link anywhere. And so as you can see, it'll take me straight away to that particular document. And I also provide instructions on how to insert documents here. So please review one of my prior videos if you need instructions on how to do that or leave a comment down in the comment section if that is something that you like to me to demonstrate in an upcoming video. But as you can see here, uh, OneNote allows you to include a actual printout of that document. But here I also have a copy of that document if I just want to have a copy of it. So I have both. Uh, it gives me that flexibility, let's just say. And so as you can see, here are some of the other sections or page sections that we have for this particular client file. You have your to do's and deadlines, any statements that you may have uh, any arrest or search warrants. Look at the victim statement and you could have your, uh, here's a place here, a placeholder where you can just go back in and just add the name of the statement. It could be for Jane Doe. OK, so now you have a place where you have Jane Doe's statement there. You have your arraignment and bail, any crime scene information, correspondence, discovery, plea negotiations, uh, any depot transcripts that you may have and so on and so forth. And so now by way of example, let's say that this John Smith case is a case that has come into our office by way of court appointment. And let's say the court has appointed you to represent this individual who is a habitual DWI offender. Now, as you know, there may be times where you need to meet with the client at the jail. And so one note can come in handy because depending on how good the cell phone service is in the particular jail or holding facility, you can access this entire file in the jail or immediately after leaving when you get back to your vehicle to record notes while they are still fresh in your mind. So you'll want to download the OneNote app on your mobile device. And then all you have to do is just go ahead and select that OneNote icon. And as you can see, here is my John Smith file here, along with all of the documents that have synced through the cloud version stored in one drive. So let's take a look at some of the information in this particular client file. As you can see, we have our case intake section here, which has our client consultation form. Uh, we also have any case summary, any new matter memo that you might want to have here. Again, your conflicts checklist. And then here I am down at the place where we have our case notes. And so if I am conducting that initial client meeting, especially over there at the jail, uh, then I can take some notes here using this case information data sheet. And I am using my Samsung Z Fold 
uh, a, a lot of times I use my Samsung Note, but I'm using that to <laughs> record this video. So here I'm using my Samsung Z Fold to take notes here. And so I may want to get some information about the circumstances around the accident or like what prompted or what did the police officer say was the reason for the stop if this is a DWI case. And it may be that they told the client that he was stopped for failure to stop at the red light. There may be some other information that you want to take uh, at this particular time. Obviously, you're going to want to put the client's name here. Maybe some information about any probation, any prior DWI information, and any other information that the client wants to give you uh let's say the client has indicated that he has a particular bail bond so let's say he said that it's kim at quick fast bail bonds all right and so Now we have our note here. Now I'm just going to go over to my case notes here on my desktop version. And as you can see, anybody back at the office has access to this file. We'll see these real time changes that I've made here on this client information data sheet here. Now, when you leave that client meeting, presumably, once you return to your vehicle or back to your office, you can record an audio note or even a dictated note detailing some of the things you covered in the client meeting. And so to do this, you just add a new page. And so you can just click this plus sign here and I can say notes from January 18th. client meeting and then you want to go to the place where you want your dictated note to start and then you'll go back out to the home tab and at the top over here on the right hand side you'll see this dictate button and so you can just click this dictate button when you are ready to start I had the opportunity to meet with our new court appointed client John Smith at the Los Angeles County Jail on Hill Street. Please remember to be sure to expense all mileage and parking tickets for this client visit and please be sure to add one and one half hours to the billing log of this initial client meeting, period. Mr. Smith indicates that he was stopped for failure to stop at a stoplight period. Please determine if there are any cameras in the area and if there's any camera footage and please request all body camera and or any dash cam footage, period. Mr. Smith asks that we contact Kim, K-I-M, at QuickFast Bail Bonds, period. And when you're finished, you just click the dictate button again. So as you can see, OneNote gives you the versatility to collect all kinds of media, audio, video, text, screen clippings, and it gives you the ability to record dictation and so much more all within your client files. In addition, you will have access to your entire law firm wherever you are. Now, 
I want to go back over to my mobile device and see if this note has synced through the cloud here. And so now I can see that my notes from my January meeting have synced over here. So now I can see that my notes from my January 18th client meeting has synced over to my mobile device as well. So what do you think now that you've had a chance to see all of the things that you can do with OneNote and the efficiency it provides? Do you think you might consider using this game-changing law office productivity resource for civil or criminal law firm practices or any other type of business? If so, or if not, I'd love to hear why or why not. So please leave your comments in the comment section below. And I hope you'll also give me a big thumbs up. And if you found these tips useful and helpful, I hope you'll also consider donating to this video and to the work that I do on this channel by clicking the super thanks heart button below. In addition, you might consider becoming a member of my attorney productivity community here on YouTube, where you'll be able to get full length videos of instructions on how to use many of the resources that I've demonstrated here in OneNote. And I wanna also ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I come back with more business and law office productivity tips. And if you'd like to purchase a copy of my OneNote civil or criminal law firm notebook templates, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.